What's up? I hope you all are having a nice, wonderful day on this beautiful planet of ours. Today I want to talk about elevators. Alright, as you all know, well, elevators, they're found in every building. I don't know what they like in different countries, but the country I live in, here in the United States, all elevators have a particular distinguishing feature. And that feature is centered around people's phobia, fear, and hatred of mathematics. So elevators here in the United States, they attempt to accommodate people who fear using numbers. The biggest disparity that I have with elevators in the United States, yes, they go with whole numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, but why don't they have, uh, or they start with natural numbers, I'm sorry, natural numbers are one, two, three, four, why don't they use integers? Integers, starting with zero. Why can't they make your ground floor zero? No, here in the United States, the ground floor is either called L or LL. And because of that disparity, for instance, yesterday, a good friend of mine, good friend of mine, we was going to the hospital and we had a lot of confusion when we was departing from the hospital on an elevator, we forgot which floor did we start off on. Did we start off on L or LL? So instead of going straight down the elevator and going to a particular floor, no, we went all the way down past our floor. Then we had to go back up to the floor that we started off with. And I forgot what letter it was. Now, I feel if, you, if they give you ground floor numbers zero, Everyone know that's your ground floor. That's your starting hole. Zero is your starting point. So when you walk in your in a hospital, you basically are on ground zero. And the militaries use that term anyway. Ground zero, where you walking on the ground level. Elevators should make the ground floor zero. Then there will never be any confusion about what you do. You get up on G. Do you get off on L or, or, or double L? There will be no more confusion if they put zero for ground floor. And then when you go underground, you're going, you're going down. So since you're going down, won't you call that the first floor down, negative one. The second floor down, negative two, and so on. So my biggest complaint is here in the United States, we don't try to help people overcome their fear of math by using integers on elevators. We, in the United States, we contribute to that fear of math by instead of using all numbers, no, we're using L, double L, and G. That don't make any sense at all because all the other floors have numbers. So keep everything as number. That is my biggest gripe with elevators here in the United States. I don't know what it's like overseas. Because I do know one thing that I like about the overseas, uh, they use the metric system. Here in the United States, we still use the archaic English system. Now, but that's what it's called. That's based on inches, feet, uh, inches, feet, meters, yard, miles, so on and so forth. And it's hard to convert, it's hard to make conversions between them. Like I know, for instance, I think uh, three, I mean, one yard is equal to three point something feet, for instance. I'm not sure, I don't have the math book in front of me, but I know here the conversion is sloppy. And the metric system, is, everything is based on 10, so it's nice and convenient and pretty. One millimeter, or 10 millimeters is equal to one 
centimeter. A hundred millimeters is equal to a hundred centimeters. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my biggest gripe. Like I said earlier, the United States helps to contribute to Americans' fear of mathematics by not using integers on those elevators. So you all tell me what you all think. Should elevators have integers, ground floor being zero, the first floor below ground, negative one, the second, the second floor below ground, negative two, and so on. That would make things so much easier in my mind. So tell me what y'all think. If you like my little comment, leave a thumbs up. If you would like to uh, hear future content that I want to talk about anything that interests me, please subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a wonderful day and take care. Goodbye.